Yo, what is going on gang? Coach District here, and today I'm going to be adding one more skill to your portfolio to help you become an even better player than you already were. Now let's learn how to strafe and how to crouch strafe while in gunfights. Alright gang, let's talk about what makes and breaks a good strafe. Now, over the 1,000 plus coaching sessions that I've done with customers, the main thing that I catch them doing during their strafes are simply that they aren't strafing long enough. They're just strafing left and right far too quickly, which results in it looking like this. A strafe that just looks like you're having a seizure. See how even though you're strafing really fast left and right, you're basically just standing in the same spot? This is what we want to fix. We want to start making these types of strafes much longer. This is what's going to force our opponent to work at tracking us moving left and right. Now this right here, this is going to be our new strafing square. If you want, head to the range and do this yourself to, you know, help practice or just watch me. We're going to use these lines right here as a guideline as to where you should be strafing to and then strafing back from compared to just strafing really fast left and right like this, which you can see basically just keeps you right in the middle of your strafe square. And that's what we don't want to be doing because to an enemy, it just looks like you're standing still pretty much. You're just moving or jittering fast. Now, just because they're forced to track doesn't mean that they're going to magically start missing all of their shots on you. A good player will still manage to one-mag you even though you're moving left and right. So now we need to add on to it. Keep in mind, what makes a good player is the ability to always add to the basic movements and incorporate other material into what they're doing. And this is basically what we're going to be doing throughout all of our video series on how to get better, is we're going to teach you the basics and then we're going to teach you how to add on to it. Hey. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. We're currently working on a super glide tutorial right now. And if there's something that you want to learn, make sure to post it in the comment section below so I can take note. And by the way, thank you, Jan. I don't, I don't know how to say that last part. I'm not going to butcher it. But hey, thank you so much for leaving this comment. All because of you. We're currently working on the super glide tutorial to help you and other people out. All right, now that you know how to do longer strafes to make it a little bit harder for people, let's add ankle breaks or fakes to your strafing. A fake strafe is when you strafe for a split second in the opposite direction that you were planning on going. Watch my footwork in this clip right here. As I'm strafing into the middle, I cut back and then long strafe across the middle. Strafe to the middle, cut back to where I originally was, and then long strafe again across the middle. Whenever you are strafing against somebody, your goal should be to use that strafe to guide their aim into whatever direction you want. Then use your fakes, or whatever version of a fake you can come up with, to break their aim assist and their lock on you. Then, with that moment where they're not able to hit you because you broke out of their aim, and then you can use that time to deal damage back onto them. Now that you got some basic strafes down, let's add some crouching in there. A big mistake people make when attempting to crouch strafe is the same when they're just strafe spamming. They are doing way too much, which results in them basically doing nothing. What most people don't realize is that to you, it looks like you're in the matrix. But to the person that you're fighting, it looks like you're just nodding your head up and down. Just like how we want to add long strafes, we want to do the same thing with our crouching and add long crouches. We don't want to start coming back up midway from reaching the ground. That's what makes it look like nothing is happening. Instead, what we want to make sure is that we go through the full crouch animation just until we're about to hit the ground. It's very important that you get as low as possible before you start coming back up, because once you finish the animation of lowering yourself, your legend goes into a crouch walk, which is incredibly slower than a regular walk. This can be a little hard if you play on toggle crouch. Versus when you're playing on hold to crouch, you get a lot more control over what your legend is actually doing. I myself play on a custom built cinch controller, which has four buttons installed on the back, which I set to crouch, reload, jump, and holster. That way, just like how I mentioned before, I can always keep my thumbs on top of the analog sticks to be moving around and looking around while using my, my fingers on the back of the controller to be crouching, jumping, reloading, and swapping my guns. If you want to check out cinch controllers or even look at the options that they have, I have my affiliate link in the description down below, since we are gratefully sponsored by them. And if you want a little bit more info, I'll link this video right here where we talk about awesome options that comes with building a cinch controller. All right, now that you can crouch, let's just simply mix it with a strafe. This isn't really too hard. All we gotta do is go back to our strafe square and start practicing. And this is what we're gonna start by doing. We're gonna long strafe from the outside of our strafe square. We're going to crouch as we come towards the middle of our square. And we're gonna uncrouch as we come out of the middle of our square and continue that long strafe to the outside. 
Once you get comfortable with that, we can start adding strafe breaks back into our crouch strafe. Let's start with strafing from the outside of our square. We're going to strafe right into the middle, crouch and break going back left, uncrouch going long to the right, and then we're going to break back left, crouch to make ourselves smaller, and then uncrouch going long back to the right. Then we're just going to keep practicing these basic patterns, and as they get easier and easier and more familiar, we're going to come up with our own unique strafe patterns and then practice them in-game. And there you go, you basically just learned how to crouch strafe in the matter of 6 minutes. Remember, just because you're crouch strafing, wall jumping, cap strafing, b hopping, or whatever it may be, doesn't mean that the other person won't be able to tag you a few times. We're mainly just using these tricks and mechanics to make it harder for the other person to do a lot of damage on us. So it's going to be up to you to think of ways that you can make it harder for them and easier for you to win a fight. So pick the right time to use a crouch strafe or the right time to use a wall bounce or a cap strafe or whatever it just might be. And as always, if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me or maybe another Apex Predator within our Discord server, you can always do so by clicking my booking link on Calendly at the top of the description of this video. As, um, if they had taken that portal right away, you wouldn't have got a phoenix off. But if you had popped a bat, at least you would have had a fighting chance. And then if they didn't push, you're still safe. And then you can pop a medkit or a syringe or whatever you might need. In here. Okay, kill the rev here. 